And here we go, Wasserman, shot towards net, in the back of the net! Max Wasserman ends it, E43 left in overtime. The approach by Mamadou, the PK, score! 1-0 Connecticut. Scoreless match, the senior from LA, Carlos Alvarez, makes his approach, drives it, score! 1-0 UConn lead the Irish with 16-37 to go in the first half. The 2012 UConn soccer team was met with high expectations preseason, picked to win their conference division for the third straight year. But the Huskies, as always, have taken it all in stride, working together on the field to maintain their dominance in the polls. We are sticking together as brothers, and whenever we have tough times, we don't get panicked, we don't get nervous. We just stick together and know that we know what we have to do. We know we have the ability amongst the group, and we are just working together as one and believing in each other and that's what's bringing us right now. The chemistry is getting better and you know what guys are getting fit and we're finishing our chances and you know what little by little it's going to get better. I just think we're very resilient right now that we got great leadership we got you know some very talented players and, and these guys even when we're not having a good performance these guys fight and work hard. We know we haven't gave it all we have yet we're st we still want more and we feel like this this year we have the team and the mindset to accomplish it. I think we're playing better. I think guys understand their roles better. And I think there's a, a quiet confidence to the group. The Big East Conference Blue Division is home to four of the nation's top ten teams. At the midpoint of the season, UConn faced every ranked opponent in the conference back to back to back to back. Six teams in the top 25, that's pretty impressive. Um, Georgetown, Notre Dame, St. John's, those teams we just played, I mean, they're good teams and we'll, we'll probably see them again later down the road in the postseason. So yeah, Big East is probably at the top of the college soccer world right now. I think it's the most competitive it's ever been. I believe there's eight in the top 25 in the RPI. So yeah, I think the league is, league is as good as it's been. If we're not ready for every game, it could hurt us definitely. But playing the competition now can definitely help us out in, in the playoffs. UConn suffered their first loss of the season at number nine Marquette ending their undefeated streak at 10 games. But the number six Huskies will continue to threaten their opponents with their deep offensive arsenal. They're led by three-time all Big East selection, senior midfielder Carlos Alvarez and Mamadou Joe. They've combined to score 35 points so far this season. Alvarez leading the league in assists, with Joe coming in second in goals. Anytime I can get the ball to one of those two, that's what I'm looking to do. Uh, Carlos, especially when he gets the ball in, a, in an attacking position, he, he's, a, he's a, almost like a dual threat. He could make that killer pass or take it to goal himself. Our chemistry been growing from each year, you know. I've been playing with the guy for the last three years, and he's been helping me a lot, you know. Wow. He knows what I want to do with the ball. He knows when he needs to check in, when he needs to run. Mamadou is just, uh, I mean, he's a goal scorer, uh, plain, plain and simple. Anytime he gets the ball in the box, you know, he's going to have a, a look at goal. Well, he's my roommate. He's a nice guy, you know, so, you know, I bond with the guy and I understand the guy when he's having trouble and we, we help each other out. That's the main thing. Mamadou is so dangerous up front. He's got great feet, great pace. Carlos is like a quarterback and get the ball to the right spots, you know, and then you got Orlando. Orlando and Mamadou sometimes, Orlando keeps guys preoccupied. And you got Jope, who's a great attacking guy who can create. So, you know, Jope and Orlando really take a lot of the heat off Carlos and Mamadou. Preparing with the right footed approach, fires it in, defending ball towards the six yard box, headed in by Connecticut. A goal there from Alondo Matheson, seven yards away, the beautiful header. Sophomore forward Alondo Matheson, who last year led all rookies with 10 points, is also making a big difference for the Husky offense. He scored seven goals so far this season, coming off the bench. Alondo's a big, tough front guy. He's got a great back to the goal. Athletically, he's strong. He's good on the turn. He's dangerous around the box. He's gotten some crucial goals for us, and he's just he's a player that can come in and just change the game. He's given us solid minutes. Uh, he can hold the ball. He could. Uh, he could run. Well, during practice, he he's with the second team sometimes, and he puts the defense under pressure. Then attacking wise, he helps us a lot when he comes to the game. You know, he holds the ball. He knows what to do with the ball. He could be starting in any team right now. His ability to just change a game when he comes in. He's uh, he hasn't been getting that many minutes, but when he gets minutes, he he makes the most out of them. Thirty minutes a game, whatever we need. He just brings a lot of energy and. Like Mamadou, he's a goal scorer also. He scores goals in big games at big times. The key to the Husky defense is sophomore goalkeeper Andre Blake. 
Ranked second in the nation in save percentage, Blake has shut out his opponents in 60% of games in his career, holding them to a humble .36 goals per game. Some of those stats are unbelievable, but I don't even think that tells the whole story, really. A shutout is great, but it's even more important that I'm stopping them from scoring and contributing, giving my team a chance to win the game. His command of the box is unreal. Anytime the ball is in the, in the air in the box, you know he's going to come down with it. I want to contribute something to my team, and I'm the goalkeeper, so obviously I can't score a goal, so my contribution is to stop goals from scoring. He gives us the confidence that we know that if we need someone to make a big save, he's going to make the big save. Oh, he's great athletically. He reads situations well. He's just he's just a big-time presence in the goal, and he's a great, great leader on the field. He's huge. He's a huge dude, and I give him credit for everything he does because everything that he puts in work, he gets the benefit, you know, it shows in the field and he's a good guy, you know, what everything I tell him as a leader, as his captain, you know, what he listens to me and he helps me out with the guys, so he's a big time goalkeeper. Elite college soccer is nothing new for the UConn soccer program, but this year's team looks to have it all, skill, determination and chemistry. We have a bit more talent amongst the group and we're just finding ways to win tough games and finding ways to make stuff happen for us. I mean, we're not at our best as yet, but we're obviously getting there. Every game's a battle, and it just, every time we play, we're getting more and more prepared for the postseason. Everyone from the, the last player on the team to the top player, whether it's at practice or in the games, everyone gives it all. I don't know that you, you can measure the character of the team. I don't know that you can measure what, what uh, you know, what Orlando Matheson's doing for us, Sergio Campbell, Josie Mar Sanchez, Andrea Bezzo, Colin Bradley. These things don't show up in statistics. Our goal is to get to the national championship, you know, to make it to the, also to the Big East, you know, but like we said, step by step, you know. We're not going to make it to a place if we don't take care of business. We need to go out there and play hard, that's it.